Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn about the various types of physical weathering. Before we continue, however, we should remind ourselves about what weathering means. Weathering is the process whereby rocks on the Earth's surface are broken down and worn away by physical, chemical or biological forces. As I said, in this video, we will be focusing on the physical forces. Physical weathering comes in two main types. Frost shattering, also known as freeze thaw action, and exfoliation, also known as onion skin weathering. You should already be able to identify what rocks affected by each form of physical weathering look like. Frost shattering causes rocks to be fractured into shards or pieces, while exfoliation causes rocks to peel, hence the onion skin name. Let's look a little bit closer at the frost shattering process. Many rocks have cracks and breaks in them. If any water gets into those cracks, it can quite easily break the rocks into smaller pieces. This is essentially what is needed for frost shattering to take place. Water from rain or melting ice fills a crack in a rock. At night, if the temperatures get low enough, the water freezes. As water expands by roughly 10% when it freezes, it can force the crack in the rock to widen. The key to understanding any kind of weathering, however, is realizing that it is a process. Frost shattering won't break a rock apart in one night. It can often take many years of repeated freezing and thawing for that to happen. Eventually, however, the water wins and the rock is shattered into multiple smaller pieces, like we can see in these examples. Because frost shattering requires temperatures cold enough for water to freeze, you are unlikely to find the effects in many climates around the world. The most common locations, therefore, for this process are areas of high, areas of high latitude, like the poles, which are cold because of lack of direct sunlight, and areas of a high altitude, like mountains, because of the cold temperatures created by height above sea level. The second type of physical weathering is exfoliation. As you can see from the diagram, this is a process that starts when a rock is exposed to extended periods of sunshine during the day. This sunshine heats the outer layers of the rock, which in turn causes these layers to expand. At night, the rock gives off all the heat absorbed by the outer layers, causing these layers to contract. For this expansion and contraction to break the rock, it needs to occur as often as possible for as long as possible. Eventually, the outer layers of the rock will start to crack and joints will form in the rock. Over time, these layers will then crumble or slide off the rock layers, leaving behind rocks that look like these. In order for exfoliation to occur as fast as possible, the process needs to take place somewhere where it gets extremely hot during the day and extremely cold during the night. In other words, desert regions. Let's quickly summarize what we have learned. Firstly, physical weathering requires temperature changes to take place. Secondly, physical weathering comes in two forms. Thirdly, frost shattering involves the freezing water shattering rocks. And lastly, exfoliation sees rocks peel away due to extreme temperature changes and expansion and contraction. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it educational and entertaining.